activities. Yeah, it definitely feels like that weather outside, so it's hard not to think about baseball. Here's a look outside at the weather headlines. We're warm and dry again for your day today. We've got a breeze out there and in the mountains, the peak winds gusting up to 25 miles per hour. It's the sign of a cold front moving through the area. So what we've got is a cooler Friday with temperatures in the 50s, but then we warm back up and we stay dry through the weekend. We get rain back in next week. Here's a look at our forecast for today. 80 degrees in the triad, a few clouds, but really very warm as we're looking outside. The foothills sunny and then the mountains. We've got winds gusting to 25 miles per hour, but overall a very comfortable day. We'll have increasing clouds as we go through the day today, and you'll notice in the mountains our temperatures start to fall pretty early and then by the time we're getting into the overnight hours we drop into the low 30s for our morning tomorrow for Friday morning mid to low 30s I should say as we're heading down that's a pretty steep drop so it'll feel like a little bit of a shock to the system and of course that's because of the cold front here's a look at the foothills temperatures in the mid 70s but by 2 a.m. we're already in the mid 40s so falling down to be another cool morning for your Friday Piedmont Triad, 80 degrees, breezy with winds 10 to 20 miles per hour, heading through the next couple of hours after that. By 2 a.m., we're in the 40s. Our average high is 57 degrees, and we stay above that all the way until 10 p.m., so definitely warmer than normal. Here's a look at our temperatures right now, as well as radar and satellite, where you can see we've got a couple of clouds in the vicinity, but mostly blue sky at this point. Here's that cold front that we're talking about, though, and as we're going through the next couple of hours, it starts to sag down into our area. You notice those cooler temperatures on the other side of the cold front there. So that's what we'll be seeing as we head into the day tomorrow. As far as wet weather is concerned, well, this front won't bring us any. In fact, our next rain chance doesn't arrive until Monday, where we've got a 30% chance for some thunderstorms first and then some showers. It'll bring us back into some more normal temperatures, but still staying warm. We've got quite a few days on the seven day forecast that we're bumping up against some record highs, including Sunday, where we're 76 and our record is 77. Monday, our, rec our temperature, our forecast temperature is 79. Our record is 81, so this won't be the only day that we're within a few degrees of our record high. You notice Friday was left out from that. There's a good reason why. Well, we know we're close to record temperatures on Friday. In fact, we'll even be a couple degrees below normal, so definitely a shock to the system, even though 57 degrees, 55 degrees isn't all that cool. Here's a look at our fire weather danger forecast. This is another thing you really have to keep in mind if you are headed outside today or really through the next couple of days. We've got a high fire weather danger risk for us, and it's partially because of the winds, but largely it's because of those dry fuels out there from not having a lot of rain over the past couple of days and past couple of weeks here. So here's the seven day forecast. Monday starts off with some storms, which of course the lightning could be an issue, but the rain that comes overnight Monday into Tuesday will help us out with some of those issues. It'll also bring us back down to some more normal temperatures as we head towards midweek next week. Thank you, Jacqueline. That will do it for us here on WXII 12 News at Noon. I'm Jackie Pascal. Get outside, everybody. The newscast is over. Have a great rest of your Thursday.